we will start free axis machining with 3D roughing and let's add a new tool from the machine tab select define tool and select bull nose and tool number 19 offset number 19 length 80 diameter 16 and corner radius 1 spindle speed fixed fit okay and let's add a simple holder okay and save this tool as bullnose 16 r1 okay and let's select this tool okay and now from the machine tab select 3d machining here as a type select free axis and strategy select Z contour graphic. Click OK and in the general tab in the tool section as in the previous machining we have information about the tool selected in this operation. In the type section we can choose how the tool paths will be generated and most often we will use the contour option. In the mill type section we can choose whether we want to get clamping, conventional or optimized. This is a combination of these two types and select the optimized option. And in the material selection select the current material and go to the levels and cuts tab and as the safe rapid enter 25 as fit down distance enter 5 safe rapid level it is the same as in the previous operation it is level the tool can move at rapid speed and fit down distance is an equivalent to the rapid down to level the parameter max depth per cut determines the maximum value of the step in the z-axis, enter 6. And if we uncheck this auto checkbox, we can specify upper z-limit and lower z-limit and then the tool paths will be generated only between these levels. Ok, let's select this. To this section we will return in a moment. In the entry section we can specify how the tool enters the material. For example automatic, pre drilled holes, helix or a ramp. And let's select automatic. It means that AlphaCam will choose the entry method itself. In most tool typically used for free axis machining, the center of the tool can mill. So let's check this option. If it turns out that the tool center cannot mill, uncheck this option. AlphaCam will then prepare the tool paths accordingly. The slope angle for lead in, let's set to 45 degrees and let's move to the machining data tab. Here in the machining section we can leave allowances in the xy axis and in the z axis. Leave 0.2 in xy axis and in z also 0.2. This will be the allowance for finishing machining. Ok, in the links section leave the default parameters. Link method always ramp. and link type optimized.
in the tool data tab we have the same as in the previous operations and now we do not change anything and click OK select the solid model and accept the selection and now let's run the solid simulation OK we received roughing with a z-axis step of 6 mm and just because this step is so big we have quite big steps here and now we will consider how to reduce these steps.